Hi all and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, a year old. I've actually been up here a year now. So um, I haven't really uh, done a lot in the last couple of weeks. Just a few bits and bobs but I've just been sorting out really. But something that is uh, I have done is I've managed to um, a bit of cloth around there just so um, it looks visually a bit better I've been trying to sort out this um, storage really for all my stuff so up here I've put a shelf up just trying to have a bit of a tidy up really moving around here I've now added this uh, small wall here, it continues all the way around and we'll go right to the good step though. Going over to this side, if you're watching the previous bit, I wanted to move this uh, viaduct back onto the beam because it's crossing over the bit of fiddle yard, but it's very hard to clean the track, so I thought if I put it off the beam, but I ordered the brackets off eBay three weeks ago, and I've just had a message from the company, I, I contacted them asking where were they that, and it's posted by Hermes and they say they've got lost in the post so they've given me my money back which isn't really good because uh, oh, I just wanted to crack on This is a better view of the wall I've put in this is obviously plaster cast quite fiddly. I mean I'm going to airbrush it when I learned how to use the airbrush. That's the plan. But the bridge has fitted in quite well. A bit more of the wall as it comes round. Now I'm going to put a roadway here that will come to the goods yard. I've also put a gateway in there so um, the signalman or anybody from the station wants to come to the goods shed they can do. That's not glued in yet, I've got to weather the track. And this will be the kind of like the storage area. Come around to the good shed. This is the last bit of um, track that uh, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here yet. But until I move this wired up. To Nothing is really.
Now, I haven't brought any locos for a time. I've just uh, been concentrating on getting this set up. But I did see this on uh, eBay and I just couldn't turn it down. It's the uh, Hornby D16. Now, you're going to say it's in British Railways colours. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try for the first time. Um, I've got some any transfers for it, so uh, I'm going to have a go with um, changing that. Something for the future. Now I get getting told off by the missus for. Um, being up here too long. So I managed to find this clock. I never knew what time it was up here. So uh, I found this on eBay which I thought was a bit different. But at least I don't get shouted at. It's an LNER dynamometer clock. Whether it's actually got anything to do with the original or not, it's just a copy, cheap copy, but looks the part I thought. Now it's getting so busy you can't see anything. So there you go. I'm quite happy with what I've achieved in a year. But at the end of the day, it's all about these.
So there you go. Just a quick update. A year later, after coming up to this dark, mucky room. Oh, she stopped. That's typical. Okay. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.